During Saturday's weekly address, President Trump accused Senate Democrats of resisting the will of the American voter, and congressional Democrats of not caring about or wanting border security. Transcript as follows. Senate Democrats call it the resistance. They're resisting the will of the American voter, and it is not good. From day one, Senate Democrats have shamelessly obstructed, stalled, and filibustered the confirmations of hundreds of talented men and women who are eager to come to Washington, D.C. to make a difference. They want to serve our country. My nominees face a longer average confirmation wait than any in the history of our country. Today, more than 300 of our nominees are still awaiting a vote. Last June, I nominated Isabel Patlunas to serve as Assistant Secretary of the Treasury for Intelligence and Analysis. Now, almost a year later, this tremendously qualified professional, with nearly three decades of intelligence experience, is still awaiting confirmation. She's given up so much. She's left areas. She's moved from homes. And she's still not confirmed. It's a disgrace. Democrats in Congress are also blocking urgently needed improvements to our border security. They don't want border security for two reasons, number one, they don't care about it. Number two, they're afraid it's going to make me and the Republicans look good, and they don't want that. That comes before our country. They've blocked every effort to close deadly loopholes to keep out vicious criminals and to stop the flow of illegal immigrants and drugs. They are a disaster at the border. These actions are endangering our citizens, threatening our communities, and undermining our national security. It is time for Senate Democrats to stop resisting the will of the American people. So, very simply, stop resisting the will of the American people, and to start working across the aisle to deliver for all citizens. We love our country. We want to keep our country great. Thank you very much.